always shared Elizabeth's ideas about all the things women could do and would do if only they had the right. The other women sat at lunch shared them too. Elizabeth got fired up. She proposed they called a meeting. A meeting that would gather together lots and lots of women from all around to talk. But what would they talk about? There were so many things that needed to be set straight. Very
Lee Vashti passes the torch to Safa, who sponsored higher education for her sex. Safa passes the torch to Hortensia, who opposed the war tax upon women. Hortensia passes the torch to Mary Wollstonecraft, who fought for individual freedom among the labor classes. Mary Wollstonecraft passes the torch to abolitionist Patricia Mott, who with Elizabeth Cady Stanton called the first convention on women's rights in the United States. Lucretia Mott passes the torch to Susan B. Anthony, who abandons temperance work in order to focus her talents on gaining votes for women.
became an editor, I should say, I was an avid writer. And it may have been why I was asked to write for a black church paper, The Living Way. I wrote about my loss experience. And I also wrote stories on black life in Tennessee. I would write a weekly column under my pen name, Iola. In 1889, I was considered a skilled and passionate journalist, and I earned the pen name, Princess of the Press. I was asked to be an editor for the Memphis Free Speech and Headline newspaper, which was published in the basement Beale Street Church. I had one condition that I would be an equal partner to the minister and the paper's business manager. They agreed and I purchased one third interest in the paper. The paper really became popular, so much so, even illiterate individuals purchased it to have public readings, usually by family and friends that they knew read. I would um, wanted to make sure that they could identify my name. So I printed it on pink paper. <laughs> In uh, 1892, a devastating Thank you. 